The story begins with Kong Ji Won, who is in the hospital bed, suffering from stage 4 gastric cancer. Her friend, Su Min, comforts her and tells her not to leave her as she is her other half. However, Ji Won is wondering if her husband is cheating on her. He doesn't even visit her and worst, her doctor tells her she can only live for about 6 to 12 months. Then a flashback shows that after their wedding, her mother-in-law mistreated her while berating her for not being able to give her a grandchild. Her husband, Min Huan quits his job, spending all his money in stocks and continue to ill-treat her, while making her handle all the financial needs in the family. Ji Won thought of her friend as the only one who was good to her. And it never occurs to her that she is having an affair with her husband. Now, she needs to get out of the hospital and pay the bill as her days are already numbered. Sadly, her husband is out of reach as he is always busy spending time with his mistress. As she heads home in a taxi, the mysterious driver takes her down a different road. It's a path surrounded by cherry blossom trees and the man tells her she can always choose the path she wants. He didn't receive her pay and tells her to consider it a blessing from her father. Though she's weak, she's able to make it to her house only to see her husband Min Huan and her friend Su Min in bed. She even hears Min Huan say he knew Ji Won was sick and use her money to buy cancer insurance which he'll receive once she will die. Ji Won storms inside and throws things at them, shouting that she's going to report them for insurance fraud. As Ji Won and Su Min fights, Min Huan grabs Ji Won and pushes her into a glass table. Ji Won's head smashes into the glass. She died in April 12, 2023. Suddenly, the scene shifts to 2013. Ji Won finds herself standing in an office facing Min Huan. She begins to attack Min Huan and is stopped by one of the men present who happens to be the general manager. He asks her what she's up to as everyone is busy working. She realizes something is off and runs out into the street where she finds that she's back to year 2013. The man, who comes after her realizes that she's broke. He gives her his jacket, some cash and even groceries. She wonders if this is all a dream. Then it comes to her that the man who helped her is general manager Yu Ji Hyuk, the grandson of UK founder who will soon become the CEO. Now, it will be her secret, as no one knows that she went to year 2023 and back to 2013. As she starts back reliving her life, it comes to the scene where they go out to dinner together with Min Huan, his boyfriend. He asks her why she told him she thinks she's pregnant. He rants about how he doesn't want kids as they are a nuisance, but Ji Won tells him it's only gastritis. As the irony of his words and their future strikes her, she tells him they should break up. Then he assaults her as he hated the idea of breaking up. Hours later, Ji Won looks at her bank balance and realizes that it's almost drained because Min Won uses it. Then he remembers that Min Huan bought stocks from Regentals and it soars high tripling his money. She then buys stocks for investment. Suddenly, Ji Hyuk pops up her mind. The other day, he found her browsing books on marriage and he tells her that she's talented and shouldn't give up work for marriage. She remembers him assisting her and even finds him more attractive and considerate than she realized. The next day, Ji Won is called by Mr. Kim, who berates her new proposal on meal kits. She knew that afterwards, Su Min will steal her proposal and resubmit it by flirting to the manager until she'll get promoted. Ji Won then decides to join hands with Jo Ran, one of the hardworking UK employees who was never promoted. As Jo Ran went her way, she left her coffee on the table. Ji Won remembers that during her past life, it fell down before she can catch it and she hurts her knee. But this time, she avoided it by placing it back, and the coffee didn't fall. She's amused and realized that she can still avoid the things that had happened before. While she's also avoiding Min Huan, she's about to get hurt but Ji Hyuk saves her. However, as she runs, she ends up getting hurt in the same spot. She wonders if her fate is, after all, inescapable. Then she realizes that if it's bound to happen, it will. But now that she was given the chance, she'll do everything she can to avoid the bad fate that she had once before. Now, she plans to let Su Min marry her husband instead. In a coffee shop, as Ji Woon watches someone steal another one's coffee, 
she decides that someone must also steal her bad fate. As she sees So Min flirting with Mr. Kim the manager, she decides it should be her, as she always takes everything that she has. Meanwhile, when she gets in the elevator with them, Ji Hyuk suddenly comes in. Then Mr. Kim suddenly asks Ji Won about her proposal. He criticizes her for having time with coffee and not prioritizing her work, adding that women never work, they just only eat. Suddenly, Ji Hyuk taps the wall as to put a stop on it. He asks Ji Won to step aside with him and tells her to drink her coffee first. She then tells him she's not quitting the company. As she's going to try harder. When he's about to make weekend plans with her, Sumin suddenly shows up saying they already have plans to go to a barbecue restaurant. Bothered by it, Ji Hyuk immediately calls the barbecue restaurant and he confirms that a reunion is happening on that day. At the office, Ji Won gives Ji Hyuk a pain reliever for his injury. This made Minwa upset, and he calls Ji Won somewhere to confront her if she's hitting on Yu Ji -ok. She smiles and says it is Ji -ok who asks for it. Then he asks her they'll make up and begin again as they already have broken up. She already knew what will happen next, but she pretends she also wants him back. As he's about to kiss her. Juran enters just before anything happens. As they leave, Juren counsels Ji Won to be careful against unwanted physical intimacy as it also happened to her before. When it's time to leave, Su Min and Min Huan went out at the same time. As they talk in front of the elevator, they were pushed inside, and while their bodies are in unwanted position, Su Min likes it and begins to flirt with him. The next day, manager Kim throws a fit when papers aren't stapled properly while Su Min's suite talks him into looking at her proposal. Now, Ji Won has to convince Yuran to work on the proposal with her. Ji Won says she will resubmit the proposal and once Yuran sees that Mr. Kim doesn't actually read proposals, Yuran will join her, and it did happen. However, as they chat, Sumin steals Ji Won's proposal and flirts with Mr. Kim. She asks him out for a date and tells him they'll both work for the proposal until she gets a full-time position. Min Won is out bowling with his friend and he complains that he can't even score with her girlfriend. He said she takes good care of her parents. Even their financial needs, works hard to earn money without spending it and describes her as a perfect wife material, but she is boring. Afterwards, Su Min and Min Hwan text Ji Won that they're coming to her place. She decides to let them come as this can be a chance for the two to get closer. After all, they'll cheat on her just the same, as Ji Won comes home he sees Min Huan who's already in the shower. He's all too ready and while he smiles at her, he pushes her to bed while saying they have lots of things to talk to and they're going to do it with their bodies. He then flung his towel towards the air. And as he excitingly wiggles in front of shocked Ji Won, the doorbell rings. In the middle of Min Huan's unwarranted advances, a chicken miss delivery engineered by Ji Hyuk gives Ji Won the chance to shove her boyfriend out the door. The danger reminds Ji Won to change her door passcode, which means they can no longer hop into Ji Won's space as they please. While Min Hwan walks outside, Ji Hyuk is waiting with the delivery man. Turns out, he planned the whole thing. Meanwhile, the chef named Eun Ho tells his colleague he's going to a school reunion. His colleague is surprised since he usually avoids seeing Ji Won, his first love who had rejected him. The day arrives and Su Min reaches the reunion with a warm welcome. This are the group that bullied Ji Won since high school. As they talk about Ji Won, someone recalls that Su Min used to like Park Min Hwan and they assume Ji Won is pursuing Min Hwan on purpose. Su Min even tells them she helps Ji Won enter the company. Minutes after, Ji Won arrives and everyone is stunned to see her. The previous day, Ji Won meets with Hyun for a bite and a makeover. As they talk, Hyun reminds Ji Won about a drunken mistake she'd once made involving Ji Hook. Ji Won recalls that the incident made her stop drinking for five years. But now, she enjoys drinking with Hyun. She's hesitant to go to the reunion as she'll only be digging a shameful past. But Hui Yan advises her to go and make everything clear. Back at the reunion, as everyone is shocked to see her killer looks. 
Someone comments on her earrings and everyone sees that Ji Won is wearing the authentic ones while Su Min's are fake. Ji Won heads to the washroom and as in her previous life, her bullies enter and talk about how Su Min is too nice to Ji Won. Just like before, Yi Ji starts kicking the stalls to see Ji Won but this time, instead of cowering, Ji Won steps out and makes herself known. When they ask her why she didn't tell them she's there, she says it's not her business to tell them what she does. While she asks why they have such kind of behavior. They blame her for making Su Min break up with Eun Ho and even stealing Min Hwan from her. They argue how could Su Min be so kind. Even helping her to enter the company despite what she did. To make them stop, Ji Won shows them her ID card showing she's an assistant manager, while Su Min is still a contractual worker. She even calls Min Hwa so they will hear he's her boyfriend and not Su Min's. As they're tongue-tied, Eun Ho shows up and prove that Ji Won never became a third party. Then Ji Won escape and leave the place. At another restaurant, Ji Hyuk seems to be in the middle of a fight with his grandfather. They are arguing about the fact that he doesn't want to get married. Then he tells him he likes someone but it's only a one-sided love. While on the way back, the grandfather tells his secretary to look into who the woman is. Back at the reunion, as Ji Won made her escape from the group, Eun Ho follows her and he suddenly confesses to Ji Won that he used to like her. He asks if it's true that she also likes him as Su Min has told him before. But as Ji Hyuk calls her and asks her to meet him for some work. As Ji Won is attending Ji Hyuk's event regarding a shift towards online marketing, they meet Mr. Wang who questions their proposals. Ji Won is helpful as she assists Ji Hyuk and explains to the man the needs of shifting to online marketing. Meanwhile, the girls at the reunion finally realize Su Min has been playing them and Ji Won. Su Min storms off to the restroom and when she's back, everyone is gone. After the event, Ji Hyuk insists on sending Ji Won home. As they pass by near her place, they saw Min Hwan and Su Min waiting. Ji Won wants Min Hwan to end up with Su Min so she's giving them time, but not in her house. While they talk somewhere, Su Min keeps on making herself pitiful about what happened in the reunion, he comforts her and they seem to get closer together. While Ji Hyuk and Ji Won have coffee by the river, the latter talks about the things she wants to do including self-defense. Ji Hyuk says he can teach her martial arts and she laughs, but while she looks at him, she's mesmerized by his looks as he looks more attractive without wearing glasses. Ji Won then advises him to use contact lenses instead. Minutes later, Ji Hyuk drops Ji Won off at her door and offers an advice about marriage. Ji Won asks him if he wants to marry. Though he wants to tell her it is her that he wants, he just smiles while losing words as he's dumbstruck by her question. Ji Won can't keep her eyes off him as he's more attractive when he smiles. As she lies down on bed, Eun Ho calls and they talk about the misunderstanding in their past. Turns out that Eun Ho wrote her a letter in the past asking her out but received a rejection letter from Ji Won. She doesn't know anything about this and asks Eun Ho to meet her. The next day, Everyone at work is stunned by Ji Won's new appearance. Even Ji Hyuk who is now wearing lenses is taken aback. Later, Min Hwan tells Ji Won that Ji Hyuk seems interested in her. Then he tried to kiss her but Ji Won spills her coffee on him. As she goes back, up with her. Ji Won pretends that she doesn't know the truth. But she's going to stand up against Su Min's bullies. After work, Ji Won sees Ji Hyuk and Hui Yun exit a shop together. They seem very casual around each other which reminds Ji Won that there was a scandal about them in the future and Hui Yun was forced to get transferred. They really do know each other well as we see Hui Yun hanging out with Ji Hyuk and his grandfather. At home, we see that Ji Hyuk has a blue heart tattooed on his chest, the same as the one on the note Ji Won got from her father. Ji Hyuk talks to his cat and reveals that he is also living his second life and he knows where Ji Won's life is headed. The scene shifts to his previous life in 2023 when he was attending Ji Won's funeral. He watches Min Hwan and Su Min get arrested for murder and he learns about their affair. While he travels home, he got into a car accident and woke up in 2013.
Soon after, Ji Hyuk has a flashback of his college days with Ji Won. It was the time Ji Hyuk is celebrating with his friends when he bumps into a drunk Ji Won. She's recently lost her father and broken up with her boyfriend. Tired and wasted, Ji Won leans to Ji Hyuk while telling him she's a loser as she's now all alone. Ji Hyuk sits by her on the grass and Ji Won continues to lament. She says she has a friend, but now she can't even be reached, so she called herself a big fat loser. Ji Hyuk sympathizes with her, revealing that his mother recently died too. His father remarried, but then passed away as well. They end up sleeping in the park and when Ji Hyuk wakes in the morning, she's gone. Later, Ji Hyuk sees Ji Won talking to a cat and realizes she's an upperclassman in college. He watches her feeding the cat several times and when winter arrives, he builds it a small shelter. Ji Hyuk muses that he had several chances to be with her, but didn't take them. Now that he went back to 2013, he has a chance again, back to the present, Ji Hyuk comes to work wearing a stylish suit and bearing a sleeker hairstyle. He tells Ji Won that he feels good and she's stunned. Jealous, Min Hwan pulls her aside and tells her Ji Hyuk is interested in her, but she pacifies him telling him he is already a girlfriend. In his office, Ji Hyuk gets a call from his grandfather's secretary, inquiring about his Roy Gentle stocks. His grandfather finds his behavior strange and tells the secretary to look into it. Meanwhile, Ji Won, Yuran and Hyun are chatting about the meal kit idea when Su Min enters and forces herself into the conversation. Later, she pushes Ji Won to include her in the project. Suddenly, Mr. Kim calls her. He says he's going to take the credit for the meal kit proposal so he removes Ji Won's name from it. Just as she's wondering if the proposal was always fated to be Su Min's, Ji Hyuk shows up and asks Ji Won to have dinner with him, but she says she already has plans. Her plan involves meeting Eun Ho at his restaurant, meanwhile, Min Hwan can't contact Ji Won and ends up calling Su Min, Su Min coyly reveals that Ji Won's mother left her father for another man, planting the idea that Ji Won is cheating on Min Hwan too. At dinner, Eun Ho shows Ji Won the letter she supposedly wrote him. It's a harsh letter and Ji Won realizes Su Min can copy her handwriting. Later on, she admits to Eun Ho that she has a boyfriend and Eun Ho mistakes it to be Ji Hyuk. Having seen Ji Won with Eun Ho, Ji Hyuk tries to call her. But she's switched off her phone to avoid Min Hwan. After Ji Won buys medicine for her stomach pain, somebody seems to be following her and she starts running. It turns out to be Min Hwan who notices her makeup and makes a diminishing remark about her being unfaithful like her mother. When he's about to hurt her, Ji Hyuk shows up to stop him using his martial arts skills. Worried, Ji Won tells Ji Hyuk to stop. Min Won runs away like a scared cat and Ji Won likes it, however, she wonders why Ji Hyuk is there. Upset, she confronts Ji Hyuk, as she thought that he's cheating on her girlfriend Hyun. He clarifies that Hyun is his sister, but confirms that he likes her. Afterwards, he takes her home. But before he went his way, he comes closer to Ji Won like he's going to kiss her. Suddenly, he collapses right in Ji Won's shoulder while she's shocked and worried. Elsewhere, Su Min checks on her looks as she went to comfort Min Hwan, who is sitting beside the road. While a worried Ji Won assists Ji Hyuk in the hospital, he's told he collapsed because of stress but ends up worrying more about Ji Won, who was getting a stomach ache before. She assures him she's already had a CT scan so no need to worry. Back on the street side, Min Won leans in to kiss Su Min, but she pushes him away and pretends she can't do it. Then they ride a taxi and head to Su Min's house. Outside the hospital, Ji Hyuk reiterates that he likes Ji Won but will never do anything if she'll say no. As Ji Won tells him she has a boyfriend, Ji Hyuk also tells her not to let him hurt her again. The next morning, while Min Won is taking a smoke break, Ji Hyuk twists his arm and threatens him to not lay a finger on Ji Won again. Later, Ji Won speaks to Min Won and asks him if he went home the previous night. A flashback shows that Su Min kissed him on the cheek before going home. When manager Kim tells Ji Won to join him for lunch, 
she can already tell that something is brewing in between them. Ji Won realizes that Mr. Kim is going to take credit for her meal kit idea. He even removes her name but keeps Su Min in. Joran realizes that the manager instigated Ji Won on purpose so she could be kicked off, thus leaving space for his name and that of Director Wang, who is a distant relative of his. Hours later, Mr. Wang tells Ji Hyuk about Mr. Kim's meal kit idea. He recognizes it as Ji Won's idea and asks her to meet him that night. She agrees and he ends up taking her to his friend's taekwondo. Together, they train her to fight and she learns how to flip people over her shoulder. The next morning, Ji Won comes to work with renewed spirit. As she talks with Hyun, she says she's applying the rules of judo to the situation. Meanwhile, Sumin speaks to Juran and tells her Ji Won is her friend, but she deserves it if her name was removed and shouldn't be tolerated. When they all return to work, Juran and Sumin tell Ji Won to share her edited proposal with them. She also gives them a marketing idea that uses Director Wang to advertise the meal kits. The idea goes ahead and a montage shows the meal kit proposal is already recognized and is already on fire. It's a huge success and Mr. Kim takes credit for using Wang as the campaign's face. But Ji Won knows Director Wang is going down too soon as a video of him mistreating an airline staff will go viral. One night, Min Huan and Su Min buy chicken to eat with Ji Won, but she claims to have a meeting outside and leaves them together. She makes a call to Director Wang, who has just gotten on the plane, and tells him she's going to complain that they didn't include her though she's the brain behind the proposal. The call puts Director Wang in a bad mood that he even assaulted the airline staffs. As expected, he went viral the next day, as Ji Won watches the video, Ji Hyuk shows up. He tells her that Wang will be dismissed and Mr. Kim will be disciplined. When she drops her phone, Ji Hyuk sees that she's listening to BTS. They discuss the BTS songs Dynamite and Spring Day, both of which were released after 2013. It hits them both and Ji Won is shocked why Ji Hyuk knew it, the fact that it was released between 2017 to 2020. While the year that they are now is 2013. Now she begun to realize that this man could possibly be like her who is living his second life. Ji Hyuk knows about Ji Won's new life the same as him. Now Ji Won tells him everything she's planning about her new life. She informs him about her plan to get Min Hwan and Su Min marry. Then Ji Hyuk invites her to his house to discuss things further. Ji Won even becomes good friends with his cat. Ji Hyuk wonders why she doesn't just run away and leaves Min Hwan. She then explains that she can avoid it, but Min Hwan must marry someone else. She can even avoid accidents or death, but somebody must take it for her. Then Ji Won asks Ji Hyuk how he came to 2013. He tells her he simply fell asleep and woke up in that year. He didn't tell her he went through a car accident and died. The next day, Ji Hyuk's grandfather's secretary, Lee Suk Joon, arrives at the office and the staffs are wondering what'll happen next. Ji Hyuk gets a call and went straight to Mr. Lee, who tells him that he is here to investigate the, the meal kits issue. But they both know it's really because Ji Hyuk's grandfather wants him to keep an eye on things between Ji Hyuk and Ji Won. As per his rules, the meal kit project will be led by Juran instead of Ji Won. Later, Ji Hyuk makes this announcement and Ji Won isn't happy. This is all because Ji Won's name was dragged about the meal kit issue and the fact that Ji Hyuk has been spending time with her even having her at his house. The chairman worries that this might affect the company. After work, Ji Hyuk drives to the river and thinks about everything he's learnt, particularly the fact that his death is inevitable unless somebody else dies in his stead. He then meets Unho at his restaurant and asks him questions to make sure he's not from the future too. Then he gets drunk and passes out. Using Ji Hyuk's phone, Unho calls Hyun. She arrives to help and Unho recognizes her as Ji Won's friend. While she tells him she's Ji Hyuk's brother. The next day, Ji Hyuk is called to speak with his grandfather. He's agreed to call off Ji Hyuk's marriage with a woman named Yora. When he asks to meet Ji Won, Ji Hyuk says it isn't possible, then he walks away determined to ensure Ji Won's happiness. In the park, 
Minwon tells Soo-min he'll teach her to ride a bike while Ji-won meets Ji-hyuk and tells him about the picnic. In turn, Ji-hyuk tells her about Mr. Lee. He explains why she can't lead in the meal kit project but promised to help her as much as he can. The next day, Ji-won and Juran allow Hyun to organize the next workshop. All of the employees play a game and get a lot of accommodation accordingly. In Ji-won's past life, Min Hwan got the fifth flag and slept in a sleeping bag. Su Min got one by manipulating Mr. Kim. At present, Su Min and Ji Won overhear Hyun that she hid the number one flag in the stream. Ji Won comes across Ji Hyuk and tells him she has something to say. Despite him wanting to help her, she wants to do things on her own. She tells him to simply be her listener as they both know each other's secret. That's when Ji Hyuk shows her the blue heart on his chest. It seems her father puts Ji Won under Ji Hyuk's care, but still, she wants to do things on her own. Back at the base camp, Ji Hyuk learns that the stream is too deep and actually dangerous. He rushes back and went to see Ji Won, who tried to get the flag on her own but almost got sucked in the water. He angrily demands to know why she never asks for help. Then Ji Hyuk remembers what Ji Won had once said that her feet are like stock in a rocking boat where there's no stability. He then tells Ji Won he wants to be her solid ground. As Su Min leads Min Hwan to the water, it seems someone already got the flag. Later at the ceremony, it's revealed that Ji Won wins the game. She didn't back down and fights Su Min back. Her plan is to let Su Min gets the fourth flag, so she'll be using the single tent. If Min Wan gets the fifth, then what happened before will surely gets better this time, probably, even Min Wan will break up with her. Afterwards, Su Min confronts Ji Won about why she's being so harsh by not letting her win. Ji Won admits she doesn't like her anymore. She always yielded to Su Min, but she's going to stop now. After all, she needs to focus on starting a family with Min Hwan. She then expects Su Min to take revenge by going after Min Hwan. While Su Min walks away from the group, she ensures that Min Hwan sees her. He follows her to her tent and tries to comfort her. He makes a move on her and Su Min responds. As they kiss passionately, Ji Won watches while tears come down her cheeks, as this is already the second time she watches this scene. Fortunately, Ji Hyuk pulls her away and comforts her. In the morning, Min Hwan shows up and nags Ji Won about sleeping comfortably while she never check on him getting cold outside. Then Ji Won claps back that she did but he's nowhere to find. Then a flashback shows that after they had sex, Min Hwan told Su Min to never mention it or Ji Won will get hurt so they'll just keep it as a beautiful memory. This upsets Su Min and seems she won't back down. When they head back, Ji Hyuk wonders as it seems Ji Won's plan didn't work the way she intended. At work, Min Hwan is assigned to go to a supermarket and Su Min suggests to go with him. Before they leave, Su Min gives Ji Won a card. It's a sweet letter where Su Min asks for forgiveness and that she still wants her as her friend. If Ji Won hadn't known the future, the letter would have swayed her. Meanwhile, at the restaurant, a drunk Ji Hyuk seemed to be in pain because of Ji Won. Then he tells Unho that he would be a better match for her since he'll be alive even after 10 years. At the supermarket, Su Min keeps doing things to attract Min Hwan's attention. It works and Min Hwan approaches her. Turns out, Su Min had written she wants to do it in the notebook. She and Min Hwan begin to get steamy but Su Min refuses to go ahead until he says he's serious with her. He tries to avoid it but suddenly gets a phone call. Apparently, in their haste they forgot to put up the allergy sign and a customer is now having a medical emergency. The man is taken to the hospital and Min Hwan apologizes. He paid them off a big amount so they'll not talk. But as Min Hwan brags about his money to Su Min, a news comes out that TKU, the stocks he bought is bunk crap. Afterwards, Min Hwan tells Su Min that this situation is forcing him to marry Ji Won. Otherwise he would have fallen for Su Min. Later on, while Ji Won walks with Ji Hyuk, she mentions how she'd gotten into debt because of Min Hwan. She also tells Ji Hyuk about the cat she used to feed back in college. One day, it just disappeared. 
only to find out that Ji Hyuk had brought it to his house. Now she has the reason to keep coming there, even Ji Hyuk gives her his door passcode so she could go and see the cat anytime she wants. Ji Won then discussed her new plan with Ji Hook. To go through it again by letting Min Hwan gives her an elegant proposal. By doing it, Su Min will do her best to marry her husband. As expected, the marriage proposal was pushed through. Days before, Ji Hyuk speaks to Min Hwan and tells him that the company is giving Ji Won a lakeside villa as a consolation for what Mr. Kim did. Min Hwan took it as an opportunity to propose to Ji Won while celebrating her birthday. Ji Hyuk agrees to help organize the drones and the fireworks. As they celebrate, Su Min approaches Ji Won. She keeps saying they should be friends again, but as Ji Won hesitates, Su Min threatens to throw herself into the water. Ji Won jumps in to save her, but she grabs her and pulls her under so they'll both die. Using her strength, Ji Won pulls her out just before Ji Hyuk arrives. As everybody goes up to sleep, Min Hwan is startled to find Su Min in his bed. She tells Min Hwan they should sleep together, Ji Won is left in the living room and Ji Hyuk joins her. While she tells him what Su Min did, He Yun comes down and Ji Hyuk pulls Ji Won behind the wall to hide them both. He then takes her out and they both spend the night talking on a yacht, a place he used to go whenever he needs to think. This time, Su Min gifts Ji Won a cooking class, the same as Ji Won's mother-in-law had attended in the future. Ji Won pretends to take the bait at the cooking class, Min Hwan's mother turns up as well. She's arrogant while she looks down on Ji Won saying her husband will go hungry as it seems she's not trained well while Su Min seems to be good. Ji Won purposely pisses her off but when they present their food, Ji Won gets the best presentation. After the class, Ji Won called Min Hwan to go shopping as he had told her that she must look elegant during the meeting with his parents. Realizing that Min Hwan spends his money on Su Min, she then buys expensive dresses even a pink Chanel bag. After the shopping, Eun Ho calls Ji Won and Min Hwan forcibly answers the phone. Min Hwan ends up asking Eun Ho if they can have the family dinner at his restaurant for a discount. Meanwhile, as Ji Hyuk returns from Japan, he went straight to the hospital to see his grandfather. His grandpa confronts him for being fool with a woman who's going to marry soon. As Ji Hyuk recalls his death, which is due to occur in 10 years, he gives his grandfather a hug instead. On her way home, Ji Won finds Ji Hyuk waiting for her in his car. When they talk, Ji Won asks him what he wants to do in his remaining life. As he tells her he's not sure, she tells him to start with the simple things that make him happy. He asks if he can hold her hand and she agree. At his house, Ji Hyuk signs a set of papers that will ensure his cat is taken care of during his absence. He then opens a box with the same sparkling necklace from before, which he's bought for Ji Won. At the restaurant, Ji Wok tells Ji Won she's not well trained at home and she needs to change to be accepted into the family. Ji Won plays along until Ji Wok makes a rude comment about her father. She then stands up against Ji Wok and calls off the wedding. Min Hwan goes after her, but Ji Won breaks up with him. When he grabs her intending to hurt her again, Ji Won flips him onto the ground. Amused, Ji Won smiles, as for the first time in her life, she's able to flip him. <laughs> Min Hwan can't accept that Ji Won breaks up with him. While he throws a tantrum, his mother angrily confronts him for having an impudent girl. Min Hwan storms up to Ji Won's house, but she already transferred. As she moves to her new house, Ji Hyuk and Hee Eun brings her housewarming gifts. Through Hee Eun, it is revealed that Ji Won will be paying her rent to Ji Hyuk and they also live in the same building. Unexpectedly, Hee Eun sees both of them share a moment in the bookshelves. When they leave, Hee Eun reminds Ji Hyuk that Ji Won will be marrying soon. He insists that he's just helping her and nothing for her to worry about. The next day, Min Hwan can't wait to confront Ji Won and when she shows up, he immediately heads towards her. Unexpectedly, Ji Won slaps him. 
She confronts how come he's having other women aside from her then throws him a red panty, which she claims to have found in his car. He reasons out the panty is his. As he's obviously lying, Jiwon ends up everything by throwing the engagement ring away. Immediately, rumors of cheating spread through the office. And as Min Hwan confronts Su Min for putting her panties everywhere, she tells him she's wearing hers. Then Su Min tells Min Hwan that he fell in love and did nothing wrong. Min Hwan turns Su Min down by telling she's not a wife material. Short after, Mr. Kim heard everything and attacks Min Hwan. As expected, the revealing of Su Min as the lover spreads like a fire. While sulking, Su Min messages Ji Won not to believe others, but she didn't respond. The next day, there's an issue with the marketing for meal kits and it is found to be Min Huan and Su Min's fault. Now Mr. Lee tells Min Huan to be transferred to a different department and Su Min, as a contract worker, will be let go. What's more? Mr. Lee tells Kim that Juran will be his boss as he is demoted for what he's done. Hours later, Juran keeps getting stomach aches so she went to the storeroom and meets Mr. Lee. She admits that Ji Won should get promoted for the meal kit project instead of her. When he criticizes her for being a pushover, she praises him for being frank. Downstairs, the couple from Jomart is making a huge scene. The woman slaps Ji Won and accuses her of blaming them for faking the allergy incident. Ji Won sees the letter they posted online, written in her name. She calls Su Min out, who is trying to exit the building. Ji Won pulls her towards the couple and shows them proof of Su Min's schemes, including a fake Instagram profile in Ji Won's name. Now, Su Min has to apologize to the couple as well as Ji Won. While begging to Ji Won, she reveals that she's pregnant. Min Won goes to Su Min and tries to make up for his harsh words. Su Min continues to lament how Ji Won always stood by her, but now she's alone. Min Hwan then offers himself and asks her to marry him. Afterwards, Ji Won has a drink with Hyun and Juren at Unho's bar. She wonders how Su Min is pregnant since she is positive that Min Hwan has azoospermia. Meanwhile, Mr. Lee gives a full report to the chairman, who decides to meet Ji Won. Ji Won is invited over and they discuss about her boss stealing her proposal. He even asks about her private life. Worried, Ji Hyuk burst in. But after going out, Ji Won tells him the conversation was fine. It's now Christmas time and while Ji Won and Hyun are having a meal at her house, Unho calls. It turns out that Ji Hyuk asked Hyun to set Ji Won up with Unho. Then Hyun went straight to her brother to ask for her reward, but she finds him eating her ice cream and looks unhappy. But while the two are on the ice rink, Ji Won can't stop thinking about Ji Hyuk. When Unho drops her off, Ji Won gently implies that she sees him as a friend and nothing more. As she went inside the building, she sees Ji Hyuk waiting. She tells him she has something to say. As they're in his apartment, he asks why she turned Unho down. Ji Won admits she kept thinking about him even she's with Unho, her first love. She implies that she's into someone who knows her best, and someone she only knows yet she doesn't. Then she leans in to kiss him, but he's cold. As she went her way, he pulls her back, passionately kisses her while she reciprocates. As their kiss gets deeper and becomes steamy, Ji Hyuk recalls his own inevitable death in 10 years. He breaks apart from her and tells her she'll regret it. She says she won't but he pulls her out and closes the door. The next morning, Ji Won comes to work and wonders why Ji Hyuk isn't there. Meanwhile, Mr. Kim continues to berate Juran in front of everyone even though he isn't her boss anymore. Just then, Juran gets another call from her husband, insisting she leave work early. Ji Won then counsels her to not be so considerate of others all the time. At home, Ji Won makes hot porridge for Ji Hyuk and ring his bell. He doesn't open the door, but when she hears a loud crash from inside, she opens it using the passcode he gave before. She finds him on the floor, and seemed to be sick 
freed, G1 assists him and tells him they must go to the hospital. As he comes to his senses, he tells her he can't keep seeing her like this. He says he already took medicine while asking if she's still anxious and hoping that may she doesn't stand on a rocking boat anymore. G1 remembers the drunken conversation they had years ago and she's overwhelmed that he is that man. As she gets teary about it, Ji Hyuk pulls her and hugs her. Ji Won takes care of him and stayed beside him till morning. Upon waking up, Ji Hyuk is surprised that Ji Won is beside him. He immediately asks her if something happened last night. She tells him about his confessions, that he likes her since before and that he recognizes her when she applied in the company. She embraces him while apologizing that she didn't recognize him right away. He is pulling her away, but she tells him they should be together and regret it together if they need to. In response, he pulls her again and together they hug. Meanwhile, Min Hwan and Su Min meet with his mother, Jawak. He lies to Jawak, saying that Su Min graduated from Hancock University while Jawak seems to be impressed by all of Su Min's sweet talking. It's weekend. Now, Ji Hyuk and Ji Won head to the seaside a spot where she used to go during college. They eat at a restaurant and Ji Won shows Ji Hyuk how to eat gukbap, as he grew up rich and doesn't know about the food. Then they walk on the beach and Ji Hyuk kisses her one more time. The next day, Mr. Kim continues to talk down to Juran saying he should return back his chair soon as he's the true owner. On Ji Won's urge, Juran stood up as she's now his boss. She asks Mr. Kim about his proposal and rebukes him for having a lousy work. The entire team goes out for drinks and dinner to celebrate Juran's promotion, hosted by her father at their restaurant. Ji Won remembers her father and becomes emotional when she sees Juran's father being affectionate. Minutes later, Mr. Lee arrives at the restaurant and catches Juran's husband having an affair. Meanwhile, a company announcement reaches the rest of the office about Min Hwan and Su Min's wedding. Min Hwan wants to keep it secret, but is upset after he learns it was spread through the office. Again, it is engineered by Ji Hyuk who can't wait for it to happen. The wedding day arrives and Ji Hyuk gives Ji Won an expensive necklace that Min Hwan had got Su Min. They head to the venue together, where an unsure Su Min tells herself she has one. She takes pictures with her mother-in-law and her fake mother whom she hired, while Min Hwan welcomes his guests, Ji Won walks in gorgeously. Accompanied by a dashing Ji Hook. She gives Min Hwan, who is stunned by her appearance, an envelope. He opens it later and finds a legal notice inside, about the money he borrowed. Ji Won also thanks Su Min for picking up her trash. And just before they leave, the high school bullies came in to create a mess while revealing to everyone that Su Min steals her friend's boyfriend. Afterwards, Ji Won and Ji Hyuk decide to take their leave and Eun Ho realizes they're together. Instead, he ends up having a meal with Hyun. At the office, Mr. Lee finds Ju Ran in the storeroom crying. She confesses that she has stomach cancer. Meanwhile, Ji Hyuk and Ji Won come back home, holding hands and smiling. However, they are faced by a woman who claims to be Ji Hyuk's fiancé but later says her ex-fiancé as she now realized that he calls off the engagement because of another woman. Suddenly, a flashback comes back when Ji Won witnessed how her father sees her mother entering a house with another man, looking happy and in love. When she got her second life, she told herself to do better and avoid the mistake her mother did, for no matter how happy they are, someone behind will always get hurt. However, as she thinks of Yora, it seems she had made again the wrong choice. Then she gets a call from Hyun saying that Juran has a stomach cancer. Meanwhile, Yora talks to Ji Hyuk's grandpa, saying that UK is like her family. She says she was okay breaking off the engagement with Ji Hyuk, but now he's become more charming. So, she will stay for a while. After learning Joran's situation, G1 is making everything to help her. She comforts Joran but inwardly feels guilty that she is suffering what was her own fate elsewhere, while Su Min and Min Hwan are bickering about financial duties and other stuff. Min Hwan goes outside and talks to his friend about getting out of the apartment contract his mother set up for him. 
He plans to pretend it was a scam, so he could use the money to pay his debt or he'll be in trouble. Sumin overhears and confronts him about it. At work, Ji Won arrives and learns that the chefs are pulling out of the meal kit plan. He unsuspects Mr. Kim has something to do with it as he has lots of connections. Afterwards, Ji Hyuk speaks to Ji Won. He's upset that she wasn't picking up his calls. Then Ji Won explains that she's confused and that being happy with him could be a bad choice. Ji Hyuk tells her that even in their past life, he broke off his engagement with Yora. But Ji Won has no plan of going back to him and as she went her way, Ji Hyuk stops her and gives her the contact of a stomach cancer specialist for Joran. After work, Ji Won meets Yora. Ji Won admits she fell for Ji Hyuk, but she already ends it. Yora accuses her of going after Ji Hyuk because he's Yuk K's successor, but Ji Won claps back that she's not like her who's after his position. She makes clear that her life changed even without Ji Hyuk. After work, Ji Hyuk comes home and finds the necklace he gave Ji Won outside his door. While this time, as Juran is driving home with her husband, Mr. Lee watches everything from afar and notices that the woman who was having an affair with Joran's husband is right there and seemed to be Joran's friend. Then Mr. Lee asks himself what he's doing there. Later, Joran messages Ji Won that she has gotten a surgery appointment and Ji Won realizes it's because of Ji Hyuk's efforts. At Minhuan's, Jawak is trying to blame Su Min for what is happening to them, but Salman claps back that it is her who made all the decisions. Salman even threatens them about the fake baby in her womb so they better be good at her. In private, she tells Minhuan she had a miscarriage and blames it on him throwing his phone at her. Meanwhile, Ji Won is working late when Hui Yun surprises her with food and drinks. She admits Ji Hyuk told her to bring it, then she says Ji Hyuk got engaged because of her. As Yora comes out of the house with Chairman Yu, Ji Hyuk comes home and escorts her out. While Ji Hyuk reminds her she agreed to break the engagement, she says she doesn't like anyone touching what's hers. So she decides to stay. Making her own move, Yora decides to tell Min Huan and Su Min about Ji Hyuk's identity. He's the successor of Yu and K, and she wants to show them that Ji Won dumps Min Huan for Ji Hyuk. Now, Salman is upset as she realized that Ji Won did dump her trash on her for a rich guy. Su Min is determined to get her revenge and is clearly hatching a plan. This time, Ji Won receives a text from her mother and agrees to meet her. Her mother says she came to see her, but her father didn't let her. But for Ji Won, her absence makes her trust the wrong people. The next day, they went shopping and her mother mentions her rich boyfriend. Ji Won laughs expecting it, then she asks for money, the real reason she calls her. Ji Won made clear that she agreed to see her to experience having a mother just for a day, but still, she didn't act as one. Thus, she decides to be motherless just like before, then she went her way. While Ji Hyuk is doing his martial arts training, Ji Won watches him from outside but leaves after he sees her. She goes to her father's gravesite and cries, upset about not being able to do things right. While driving back, another car starts following her. Elsewhere, a truck driver gets a phone call. While Ji Won is stopped at a signal, the truck runs straight at her. But Ji Hyuk, who's in the other car, steps into the middle. Ji Won can only watch as the truck rams into his car. Episode 13 starts with Ji Hyuk being rushed to the hospital. It was six days ago when Yura had a meeting with Min Huan. She said Ji Woon steal her man while having a good life and that they must do something about it. She even gave him before going. While on the phone, Su Min is berating Ji Won's mother for not being able to get money from Ji Woon. She then gets a call from Min Huan, who confirms that Yora sent the photos of Ji Hook. Yora offers Min Huan a fortune and if he agrees, she'll tell him what to do. While Ji Won is in the lift, Min Huan steps in pushes her against the wall and accuses her of purposely planning everything from turning off the wedding, even humiliates him in the office just to get Ji Hyuk for herself. She kicks him and before walking out, she points out that he missed one thing, the very reason of it all, it's his affair with her best friend that causes it all. Afterwards, Min Won saw Ji Won meets Ji Hyuk's friend who tells her to continue practicing judo. 
Minawan recognizes the friend as the chicken delivery guy and the loan shark who tricked him. This seems to be the reason for Min Huan to go and see Yora. She tells him, Ji Woon has 80 billion won including real estate properties. But Yora states that she can multiply it if he will end Ji Won's life. Days before, Ji Hyuk is worried thinking he's going to die soon. He then leaves all his fortune to Ji Won through Mr. Lee as the witness. Min Huan comes home and tells Su Min everything adding that he also knows her father is still alive, opposite to what she told him before having no more parents. Her father is a restaurant owner but is going bankrupt because of huge loans they can't pay. He's also the man who married Ji Won's mom. Su Min and Ji Won are technically stepsisters. This time, Ji Hyuk visits URA and offers her a deal to stop and give up. But she doesn't take it and says she'll wait till he comes back. After Ji Hyuk went out, Min Hwan steps out from behind the curtain. Then Yora tells Min Hwan to end Ji Won's life while she kisses him. After receiving a down payment, Su Min goes to her father, Jong Man Sik, and Ji Won's mother, Bae Wi Suk. If they do as she says, they can get a fortune. She then calls Min Hwan and tells him they have agreed. It's the death anniversary of Ji Won's father, and while she's on her way to his grave, Mr. Lee calls Ji Hyuk that Ji Won's mother has just hired an illegal dump truck. Ji Hyuk's friend is near Ji Won, but his car breaks down, so Ji Hyuk steps in himself. He realizes this was the reason he was brought back to protect Ji Won while on his way. He leaves Ji Won a voice message that he died in 2023 due to a car accident and wakes up in 2013 to relive his life, the same as her. He laments not being able to protect her forever and apologizes. Now, Sumin's father drives the truck towards Ji Won, but Ji Hyuk drives in between and causes a collision. While Ji Hyuk's relatives come to the hospital, Ji Won hears Mr. Lee speaks to someone to go after Jong Man Sik and Bae Hui Suk. Ji Won overhears and realizes Sumin was part of the accident. Ji Won doesn't understand why they would do this and then, Mr. Lee reveals that Ji Hyuk left her all of his assets. Now, Ji Won has to confront Su Min, she demands to know how she could think of killing someone. Su Min puts an act and cries about her being the reason of her miscarriage. Ji Won loses her cool and yells why she keeps on lying. Su Min's behavior changes and she suddenly reveals their parents' affair. A flashback shows young Su Min trying to contact her father, begging him to take her but her father is cold and even mean to her, the same as her mother. She learns about Ji Won and seeks her out on purpose. When Su Min sees her warm relationship with her father, she gets jealous. Since then, she keeps trying to steal everything from Ji Won. At present, Su Min says she couldn't let Ji Won be happy while she's not. Ji Won surprises her by saying that she knew this all along but still she treated her well. Then Su Min blames everything on Ji Won even dumping Min Hwan on her. Ji Won retorts that she brought it all to herself and she must endure it. Sitting beside Ji Hook, Ji Won gets a text from Juran, who saw her husband and her friend getting cozy near her parents' restaurant. She begins to run away and is stopped by Mr. Lee, who tells her to go and knocks her husband off. At the hospital, Ji Won tells Ji Hyuk to wake up. She's not afraid of fate anymore, but she doesn't want to be alone. Wanting to hear his voice again, she plays his voicemail until Ji Hyuk's eyes slowly open. He reaches for her and tells her he loves her. She says it back with tears on her eyes, happy that he's already awake. After days of staying in the hospital, Ji Won brings Ji Hyuk home. She fusses as he's not careful in moving around. He hugs her and apologizes for not being honest despite he was given the second chance. Ji Won then tells him that Yora, Min Hwan and Sumin have joined hands to end her life. And even her fate has gone to Juran instead of Sumin. This time, Juran gets into her husband's car. She then sees him and her friend sneak off somewhere once again. After they leave, she takes his dash cam's memory card. Meanwhile, Mr. Lee chastises Ji Hyuk for not telling him regarding Min Hwan and Su Min. Ji Hyuk tells him he doesn't know he'll help him, and hugs him instead. Then they decide to look for Man Sik and Hui Suk to be witness. Meanwhile, Ji Won is all out in assisting Ji Hyuk, 
preparing his food and feeding him until he gains his health. Then as she hugs him and prepares for work, Ji Hyuk makes a chance to hug her again, holding her hand while asking her if she can stay with him for the night. When they're about to sleep, Ji Hyuk joins her in her bed and their night becomes calm and sweet like there's no end. They hug and kiss each other until they sleep. When he wakes up, she isn't there, but he's relieved to find her preparing breakfast. At the office, Min Hwan calls Yora on seeing Ji Won at work. He's not happy she's still alive and Yora tells him to be patient. Her guard then tells her he's found Man Sik and Hui Suk. She calls them and suggests they move to China for a while. Juran tells Ji Won and Hui Yun that she reported her husband for adultery, this was before the law was annulled. She says she's planned for the police to catch the couple at her home, red-handed. Ji Won goes along and when she sees the broken door lock and the red high heels in the hallway, she recognizes them as signs of her own fate. But as they entered, they didn't see them in bed, instead, Joran's friend tells them she just come to give her husband some food. Ji Won recognizes all the signs of her own murder. So before Joran's husband can do it, she grabs a golf club and smashes the glass table to avoid the worst case scenario. As they confront each other, Juran's husband pushes Juran and she falls. Luckily, Ji Won smashed the table or her head might have hit on it. Ji Won and Juran file a report at the police station and Ji Won counsels Juran to never meet her husband alone. Unexpectedly, Mr. Lee arrives and offers to be her lawyer as she's needing one. Later on, Ji Won tells Ji Hyuk about the similarities between her fate and Juran's. She suggests that she has to seduce Min Hwan for her fate to go to Sumin. If she doesn't, Juran will die. Ji Hyuk is reluctant but later he agrees to help. As it happens, Ji Won wears a shiny red heels. She staged a fight with Ji Hyuk that she breaks up with him after she was offered a money from his grandpa. Afterwards, Ji Won speaks with Min Hwan and she agrees that she had dumped him to get Ji Hyuk for money, even luxurious properties at that. Ji Won pretends to get nostalgic about their past while they're still together. While Su Min can't contact Min Hwan, she meets with Mr. Kim, who warns her about old feelings coming back in between Min Hwan and Ji Won. Ji Won pretends to be scared and that she believes only Su Min tried to kill her. As they walk back, Min Hwan figures he'll get more money if he gets back Ji Won. Then Ji Won suggests he breaks up with Su Min for his own safety. He gives her a hug and says he'll call her afterwards. Min Hwan calls Yora and tells her he'll be with Ji Won while she'll get Yuk or Ji Hook. But Yora knows Ji Won could be playing him. Afterwards, Yora tells her men to kill Man Sik and Hui Suk to erase evidence. At home, Min Hwan tells Su Min they should get divorced. She knows it could happen, so she also has her plans. At the restaurant, Eun Ho comes to work and is surprised to know that someone already bought it. Yora offers it to him if he does something for her, but he declines. Afterwards, Unho meets Hyun for a drink. He says he's unemployed now and seems to be looking for comfort. Just then, Hyun realizes Unho can be their replacement chef for their meal kit project. She gets him to work the next day and Ji Won apologizes for what happened. Somewhere else, Ji Hyuk is currently seated across Yora's bodyguard. Ji Hyuk offers him an option either he'll help him or he'll go down with Yora. Meanwhile, Min Hwan calls Ji Won to go out with him for dinner. Just then, Ji Hyuk calls and says that Min Hwan can have Yora as the other woman. She currently received a pair of red heels and a tin of candy, courtesy of Ji Hook. The same elements that were present during Ji Won's murder. Ji Won realizes she doesn't need to be Min Hwan's other woman so she calls him back to tell him she's not interested anymore as she realized he only excels in recruiting female talents but an incompetent partner. Elsewhere, URA and her security guy set up Man Sik and Hui Suk's murder. They put the pair inside a car, with suicide notes, and fill it with toxic fumes. While Su Min texts Min Hwan, agreeing to get a divorce. At the office, Ji Won is left alone to finish something. She gets a blank call twice and as she began to be scared. It turns out to be Ji Hyuk who says he'll be there in 15 minutes. But somebody is moving about the empty office. 
Suddenly, the lights go out, and Minhuan arrives. He's angry about the way she treated him. Ji Wan dumped him again, and he doesn't want it. He loses his cool and puts his hands around her throat to finish her. Just as she closes her eyes with tears, Ji Hyuk enters and pushes Min Huan off. He tries to wake Ji Wan up, but she seemed to be lifeless. As Min Huan realizes that Ji Wan purposely did everything against him with Ji Hyuk, he starts to attack Ji Hyuk. But Ji Hyuk is stronger and as expected, he knocks him off the ground resulting them both to be brought to the police. But Ji Hyuk got evidences, so Min Huan was put into jail. Then Min Huan tells Ji Hyuk, you can't do these, just because you fight better. Meanwhile, Ji Wan is awake and is still in trauma because of everything that is happening to her. It seems everyone wants her dead but Ji Hyuk comforts her, saying he's sorry for everything that she's been to and for what she's experiencing right now. He promised to take care of her and make sure that no body will hurt her this time. Afterwards, Min Huan gets out from prison. He is surprised to see that he is in a loss end as he is being forced to pay his credits or he'll be brought back in jail. Worst, he is fired from the company because of murder attempt to Ji Woon. He seemed to be losing everything, but there's one more straw that he can use to survive. He will find Yura, who is called, the other woman. While Samin decided to accept Min Huan's divorce plan, she needs to make a deal with Yura too. She already suspects that she is Min Huan's other woman. And when she finds Yura, she is with Min Huan lying in bed. Frustrated, she went to see Ji Wan as she also suspects her as the other mistress. But the company's security cannot let her in, knowing that she's also considered as a threat to Ji Wan, but Sumin is not giving up yet. She has to tell Ji Hyuk that Ji Wan is having an affair with Min Huan. She needs to turn the table this time. She's going to seduce Ji Hyuk, so he will be hers, as it is her trademark, to get everything that Ji Wan has. But again, things didn't happen as she planned. She is so angry and make a commotion. Min Huan, who is around the place approaches her and tells her I'll have to take care of you so I can start over. He then tied her up and this upsets Sumin even more, as she already knew his real intention. Min Huan doesn't care if Sumin will die as he already told her before that her presence is of no help to him. Unexpectedly, Sumin is able to get out from the rope and finishes Min Huan, ending his life at that. Ji Wan wants to pass her fate to Sumin, as she's the one who always gets what she has, but it seems Min Huan is the one who took her fate. As Hian and Ji Wan went to his funeral, Sumin confronts and blames Ji Wan for Min Huan's death. Saying that after she dumped him, his life became miserable, a reason for him to end his life. As she tells them to get out of the place or she'll call the police, they really come but to arrest her as they already have evidences. This is because in the previous episode, Ji Hyuk and Mr. Lee has alerted people to observe Min Huan and Samin's activities. However, Samin tricked the police to give her a minute as she needs to say goodbye to her husband one last time. She immediately slithers to a room where she finds clothes so she can disguise herself. Then she went out to find Mr. Kim in his car. She asks him if he can find her a warm drink and as he goes inside, Samin immediately run the car to escape. However, she saw Ji Won and Hee On happily chatting. She purposely drives the car towards them to finish them off, but Ji Hyuk saves them. Now, Samin is not only arrested for murdering Min Huan but also for attempted murder. With all the evidences gathered against her, she was then given a sentence of life imprisonment. As Ji Won and Ji Hyuk sit among the audience, Ji Won can't do anything but shed tears as she bids Samin her goodbye. Meanwhile, Yura's bodyguard chooses to work with Ji Hook. Yura uses him to execute her plan of killing Man Sik and Wisok, but he chooses to let them live so they could be a star witness against Yura's master plan. She was then arrested for attempting to murder Ji Won, including Man Sik and Wisok. However, a news is circulating online that a gold digger is after the UK successor and is after his money. Hearing the employees talk about it, they announce that they are the one being mentioned in the article, and that they are dating because they love each other and not because of money. To complete the story, Ji Hyuk proposes to Ji Won to be his wife. Ji Won happily accepts it and the wedding pushes through. 
everyone is happy not only their friends who's also writing their own love story but the UK chairman who passes his position to his grandson, Yu Ji Hook. Ji Won however resigned from the company to give more time to her husband who is willing to do everything for her. If you happen to like recaps like this, don't forget to press like, comment and subscribe. Thank you and God bless us all.